Hello, welcome to my channel. You forgot your BitLocker password, BitLocker recovery key is lost and Windows login is blocked, now you don't know what else you can do to access your computer or laptop without losing your personal files stored on Drive D. I have a Drive D on my computer with important files that I also don't want to lose, and today I will show you how to remove BitLocker encryption from Drive C and save all your personal data on Drive D but all personal data on Drive C will be completely deleted. On the BitLocker lock screen, press the Escape key on your keyboard. In this window, press Escape again, and the computer goes to the System Recovery menu. In the window that opens, click Skip this drive. The System Recovery menu has opened, and here you need to click Troubleshoot. BitLocker will not allow you to use the reset this PC function, and therefore we need to open the command prompt to enter a few simple commands and clear drive C from BitLocker encryption. Now let's open, Advanced Options. The command prompt opens, type, disk part. Press, Enter. This command runs the disk part program. Now type, list space, disk, and press, enter. This command shows all the disks connected to your computer or laptop. Here we see that I have two disks connected to my computer, disk 0 and disk 1, disk number 1 is where my files are stored. I know that my disk C is 232 gigabytes, so I need to select disk 0. I will type, select, space, disk, space, zero, you may have a different number here, press, enter. This command selects disk zero. Now type, clean. ND press, enter. This clears the C drive of BitLocker encryption along with all the data. To exit the disk part program, type, exit, and press, enter. Type exit again, and press, enter, and the command prompt closes. Okay, Drive C is cleared, and now we need to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11 using a bootable USB flash drive Windows. If you do not have such a flash drive, you can ask a relative or friend for a bootable Windows flash drive. You can make such a flash drive yourself, for this you will need a USB flash drive of at least 8GB in a computer or laptop, making a bootable USB flash drive will be completely free. I turn off the locked computer and we move on to the second part of the video. Okay, connect the flash drive to the computer, I have already done this, and now you need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files on it, since in the process of creating a bootable Windows flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. Now open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The Microsoft page has opened. Here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 11. From this page we will download a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded, and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, Accept. If you uncheck the box, in this window you can select the language for Windows 11, I left English, next. In this window we can choose to download the Windows ISO file to the computer, or choose to install Windows 11 on a USB flash drive, I choose to install Windows on a USB flash drive, next. Here we see our USB flash drive and click, next. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. The creation of a bootable USB flash drive is complete. 
Let's open this PC and look at the contents of our flash drive. Yes, here we already see all the files needed to install Windows 11 on the computer. Okay, now we can safely disconnect our flash drive and insert it into the locked computer. I insert the bootable USB flash drive into the locked computer and turn it on. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here, next. Next. In this window you need to confirm your consent. Next. Here you need to enter the activation key, you previously had Windows 10 or 11 installed on your computer, so you do not need to enter the product key, and the new Windows 11 will be activated automatically, according to the Microsoft Digital License. I click. I don't have a product key. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 11 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Since I had Windows Pro on my computer, I choose Windows 11 Pro. Next. Here you need to accept the license terms. In the window that opens, we need to select a disk to place Windows 11. I have zero unallocated space on my disk, since I cleared it in the command prompt. Disk 1 is my file storage, and disk 2 is my bootable Windows 11 flash drive. To install Windows 11 correctly, you need to click on the disk with unallocated space, and then click, Next. In this window, you need to confirm your agreement with the installation conditions, and click, Install. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. The installation of Windows is coming to an end and now we have to make some settings, choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. Here you need to accept the license terms. Here I will press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt and then restore Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. To activate a command prompt, move it just a little bit in this window. If you want to restore Windows 11 with a new account and a new password for your Microsoft account, then skip this and continue with the installation. But if you want to continue the installation with a local account, then type this command in the command prompt. Press enter and the computer will immediately reboot. After rebooting, the computer automatically returned to the final stage of installing Windows 11 and for the trick with a local account to work, you need to pull the internet cable out of the network card. Here again, select your region, yes. Now select the keyboard layout, yes. Skip. In this window, click, I don't have internet. Click, continue with limited setup. In the window that opens, you need to enter your username. Next. You need to enter your password here, but I'll do it later, next. I accept all these privacy settings, next. The new Windows 11 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes, I did it and now I have a brand new Windows 11 latest version on my computer. 
I hope everything went well for you too. Since I disconnected the cable for the internet, in this menu we see empty spaces instead of application shortcuts, and on the taskbar we see that there is no internet connection on the computer. I reconnect the cable to the network card, and this immediately appeared on the taskbar. I click on the button, start, and here we see that after connecting to the internet, all application shortcuts appeared in this field. I open settings to see some parameters. Here we see that my Windows is running under a local account. If you need to get a new Microsoft account, open the tab, your info, then click, sign in with a Microsoft account instead, and then follow the system recommendations. Let's check the activation of the new Windows. Yes, my new Windows 11 is automatically activated, according to my digital license. Now let's check the storage of my files, my drive D. Yes, everything went well here too, all the files remained in place without changes. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.